Hello, everyone, and welcome to our next topic, Nutrition During Adolescence. Teenagers like you go through big physical changes in puberty. You need extra nutrition to fuel these physical changes, which means they need to eat healthy food. Your level of physical activity and stage of development will determine exactly how much healthy food you need. But you'll notice you have bigger appetite, which is your body's way of telling you to eat more. Nutrition is the study of food in relation to the health of an individual, community, or society and the process through which food is used to sustain life and growth. Good nutrition means eating the right amount of healthful foods and not skipping meals. It provides you with the needed calories and nutrients for your maximum energy and wellness. You are what you eat. How you feel and how much energy you use to be active have a lot to do with what you eat. Essential nutrients are compounds that the body cannot make or have insufficient amount. According to the World Health Organization, these nutrients must come from food and they are vital for disease prevention, growth, and good health. And these essential nutrients are the following. First, we have Calcium. Calcium is needed for teeth and bone development. It also aids in blood clotting, regulates heartbeat, and maintains mineral balance in all body tissues. Teenage Filipino aged 13 to 15 years old need 1,000 mg of calcium every day. Food rich in calcium are dairy and non-dairy products, leafy vegetables, tofu, cheese, yogurt, salmon, and milk. Iron is important in forming hemoglobin, which carries oxygen in the body. It is also needed in muscle growth. Inadequate iron in the body causes anemia. Adolescent girls who are more at risk when they start menstruating need more iron, 28 mg per day, than boys who need only 19 mg. The best source of iron are fruits, nuts, dark green and leafy vegetables, cereal and whole grain in rich bread. Plant sources of iron are dark greens such as cabbage and spinach, dried beans, peas and peanut butter, and whole grain cereal, bread, and oatmeal. The best iron source is also found in red meat, chicken, egg yolk, liver, and fish. Protein. Protein is the building block of muscles, bones, hair, and nails. Antibodies that help fight infection are also made of protein. Sufficient protein in the diet is necessary to meet the needs for normal growth and development. Teenage Filipino boys aged 13 to 15 years need 62 grams of protein each day, while teenage girls need 57 grams. Some food that are high in protein are lean meat, poultry, fish, dairy products, nuts, beans, legumes, eggs, and fish. Another essential nutrient is zinc. Zinc is an important micronutrient for cell division and protein synthesis. It helps the nervous, reproductive, endocrine, and immune system to work properly. Teenage Filipino boys aged 13 to 15 years old need 9.2 mg of zinc each day, while girls need 7.4 mg. The best zinc sources are beef, pork, chicken, clams, and crab meat. Other good sources are milk, cheese, peanuts, beans, brown rice, and potato. Micronutrients There are other micronutrients you need in addition to calcium, iron, and zinc. 
These are the micronutrients you usually lack when your eating habit is poor. We have vitamin D, vitamin E, potassium, and fiber. Knowing these kinds of nutrients from a variety of foods, you can now decide what to include in your daily diet. It also gives you information on what foods to limit and avoid. Now let's proceed to healthy eating guidelines. Nutrients are substances in food that your body needs to grow. And also, it, it helps repair itself and supply you with energy. The foods you eat greatly affect your overall health, including your ability to stay active, study, and hang out with your friends. Healthy eating is about feeling great, have more energy, and stabilizing your mood. It is not about strict dietary limitations, staying unrealistically thin, or depriving yourself of the food you love. But it is a healthy or a healthy diet is the foundation of good health. So we have here healthy eating tips. First, we have here limit sugar and salt enjoy healthy fats and avoid unhealthy fats it's not what you eat it's how you eat so moderation is the key eat clean and save food do not skip meals add calcium for bone health protein for energy and fiber to stay fit set yourself up for success Plan a healthy diet through small and manageable steps. And eat colorful fruits and vegetables. They are low in calories, but they are packed with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and fibers. And lastly, eat healthier carbohydrates and whole grains. They are rich in phytochemicals found in plants and antioxidants that prevents harmful disease. Because there are many food that are available, it is helpful that rules were established on what to eat and how much. You must be familiar with these guidelines and choose food to eat based on them. The following are the nutritional guidelines for teenagers modified from the guidelines by the Food and Nutrition Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. First is eat clean and safe food. Eat a variety of food every day. Eat more vegetables, fruits, and root crops. And consume fish, lean meat, or dried beans. Nutritional needs vary from each stages of life, so it is important to eat a healthy diet through all life stages. Adolescence is one of the fastest growth periods in a person's life. The physical changes during this stage affect the body's nutritional needs. Changes in your lifestyle as an adolescent may also affect your food choices and eating habits. So helpful eating can give us the chance to live longer and prevent lifestyle diseases. So following helpful eating guidelines will promote good health through proper nutrition. So it is a simple message on what foods and food components are necessary for an adequate and balanced diet. Desirable food and nutrition practices and habits are encouraged. 